what is the ruling? Mothers tend to ask me this question a lot. They say, I have a child. He's a boy. Or he's a, uh, a, a newborn baby. And I touch his private part or I touch her private part. What in that situation? A newborn baby uh, touching their private part. What's the ruling regarding that? Does it break my wudu or doesn't it? It breaks your wudu. Based on the hadith that the five narrated. Min hadith Busra ibn binti Safwani. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man masa dhakarahu falyatawadda. Anyone who touches his private part, falyatawadda do wudu. Some of you might now then say, this hadith says anyone who touches his private part. Okay? Uh, what we say is that this hadith, kharaja makhraj al ghalib. The majority of the people only touch their private parts. You don't touch other people's private parts, right? Yeah, you don't. And the qa'ida, usuliya, and also a qa'ida lugawiya as well, is anna ma kharaja makhraj al ghalib fala mafhuma lahu. Because the Prophet has said this makhraj al ghalib meaning, the overwhelming majority of times, people are touching their own private parts. You're not touching other people's private parts, are you? No, you're not. So the Prophet was speaking from that perspective. Anyone who touches his private part, do wudu. But that doesn't mean that the ruling is specific to the one who touches his own private part. It also means anyone who touches a child's private part whilst washing his private part, or etc. Or if a man touches the, his wife's private part, all of that breaks your breaks your wudu. Whether you do it deliberately or not, it breaks your wudu. Uh, whether your hand falls onto it without you intentionally choosing to touch it, it breaks your wudu. Okay? Just the same way, if you pass wind unintentionally, it breaks your wudu. This is the same way it breaks your, it breaks your wudu.